Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another fragrance review, another clone house. Um, I would have done a fragrance review on Maison Alhambra's Woody Oud um, in the past. That is this bottle. And I recently just did a backup purchase of the same fragrance. So I got a, a backup bottle of Woody Oud. Today though, we're going to be talking about Bright Peach from the same house, which is La Taffa. Bright Peach came out in 2022. Um, it's woody, uh, it's sweet, it's green, it's fruity, it's also earthy, it's floral, warm and spicy. It has a lot of citrus in the fragrance as well, and of course peach. So for the top notes, of course this fragrance has peach, it has green leaves, and blood orange. In the mids, there's patchouli, and in the base, there's honey and cognac. Now this fragrance is cloning Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. I have not owned Bitter Peach, but I have smelt it in the air. Now I'm not sure if this fragrance smells exactly like Bitter Peach, but I'm sure in the air, it's probably indistinguishable. Tom Ford variant, the original, is about 200 plus dollars USD for a 1.7 ounce bottle and for a 2.7 ounce bottle you get this for 35 bucks the fragrance does last about eight hours on my skin and i have gotten a compliment from my wife wearing this fragrance i didn't tell her what the fragrance was but after getting into the car she definitely gave me a compliment now that probably doesn't count because it was my wife but for the most part it is a very pleasant fragrance i definitely think you should check this one out so at 35 bucks, last 8 hours, I would definitely give this a 8 out of 10. Definitely check this one out. And like I always say, get a decant just in case you're unsure and you want to commit to a full bottle. This has been my little review of Bright Peach by Maison Alhambra, aka La Taffa. 8 out of 10 guys. Remember to share what you like and like what you wear. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.